Sure. Okay. So uh, hello everyone. Thank you to present here. I'm uh, glad to be here uh, to present our work with uh, Maria Bodokmo, uh, uh, my uh, supervisor, and with my colleague uh, Wasim and uh, the owner Kuhgan from uh, CLR List. So today's talk is about the the fairness questions in uh, IoT dedicated distributed ledger, which is IOTA. So. What is the fairness and why we think about the fairness is important to a distributed ledger system? The fairness is like uh, you are participants to, of a, a system, then you work for the system, you do the contributions, and then you get your reward. So if you do your contribution, you work for that, and uh, after all, you cannot get your reward. That means finally you will uh, lose your confidence to the system, and then you will left the system. This, the system will be a uh, abandoned, so which is bad. And this is especially important for the IOTA. So why the IOTA is so sensitive to the participants of their users? Because compared with the traditional uh, uh, blockchain application, uh, Bitcoin, where a lot of the work, like verification, like put the transactions into the block, has been done by the miners. And for the users, they just uh, uh, send their transactions and uh, pay for the transactions. However, in the IOTA, all the things is done by all the users. It's the users who keep the security level of the IOTA, and it's the users who make sure the IOTA running correctly. So this is why the IOTA is very sensitive to the participants of their users. Okay, so finally what is the IOTA it has already been introduced by the content, and I will go through this very quickly. So IOTA is a Dark-based uh, data structure. So every block here is a uh, uh, transaction sent by the user free, freely. So uh, actually, it's not freely. So every time if transactions want to be uh, up add, uh, want to be added to the Tango, it have to do something. It have to verify all the transactions. Uh, it uh, sorry, it will choose two parents. For example, here nine and eleven, and to approve them, and all the transactions bef uh, before this, before this transaction. So here we have a verification pass. After the, 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 the center of the transaction 12 ver verify all these transactions, it can public, uh, publish this transaction and says that I verify all of these uh, transactions in, uh, in red. That means I trust all these transactions. And then we say that the transaction has not been approved, has not been uh, chosen as the parents, as the tips, as the tips, like uh, here, the 12 and the 13. So here we, we, we know that the, 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 the key problem of the IOTA is that how a new coming transactions choose their parents. So we call this is the tip selection algorithm. And from the definition of the tip selection algorithm, we can define finally the level of the confidence. The level, the level of the confidence of a transaction is that how possible a new coming transaction will approve, will verify, will trust your transactions. Which is, for example, here we, uh, we can uh, imagine that we uh, have a new transaction, T5 here, and we run many times of the team selection algorithm. And depending on the results, Different tips will have different, uh, will be chosen as parents different times. So for example here, if the tip selection algorithm is the uniform, which means all the tips have the, have the AQ probabilities to be chosen as parents, then the 25% of the transaction will prove T3 and the same to the T1, T2, and T4. So the confidence level finally for the transaction T1, sorry, TA is only 25 because only T3 will approve, will trust this T1, uh, this TA. But however, for the transaction TC here, there are three transactions, uh, T1, T2, and T4 will uh, approve this one. So for this one, the confidence level is uh, uh, 75%, which means the 75% of the transactions of the user in your system will trust, your, your, trust these transactions. That will make your transactions can be uh, easier to be conf uh, to be uh, considered as uh, confirmed. Okay, so 
uh, here in the, from the white paper of the IOTA, there is a TV selection algorithmer, which is the uh, weighted random work TV selection algorithmer. It's implemented in the real uh, uh, IOTA uh, implementation, but it is this one who uh, gives uh, a problem of the fairness. So uh, let's see the, the definition of the community way, which is the the total number of uh, uh, the community way of a transaction is the total number of the transaction who are proving this transaction directly or indirectly and plus one. So for this one, uh, the community way is one, two, three, plus one is four. Okay, so let's represent the tangle like this. The weighted random work is that we, uh, we launch a lot of the uh, random work and every random work here has a, a probabilities to move from transaction to, tran uh, to another transaction, following the obosis sense of the arrow, so from here to here. Okay, so for, and the, the, the probabilities to go to different uh, next hop is depends on the community way of the next hop. So for example here, if a random work begin from the transaction with the community weight equal to 10, then the next hop could be uh, the one with community weight is eight or six. As the six is smaller than eight, mm -hmm. so uh, it could be uh, more likely to go to the eight, and so on and so on. So until this one go uh, reach to uh, the, the tips, then that tips will be choose as one of the parents. So there's a Baha meter <coughs> which is alpha, uh, introduced by Connor also. So the alpha is uh, an important bar minus here. The alpha will decide the sensitivities of the random worker to the difference of, uh, to, the, um, to the community weight difference between the possible next weight, uh, between the possible next hop. So which means if the alpha is very big, then the other random work will almost lay to directly go to the next hub with the highest uh, community weight, for sure. And if the alpha is uh, go to goes to zero, that means uh, every possible next hub will have equal probability. So no matter the the how weight it has, how community weight it has. So and this parameter alpha will play a very important role in this kind of the attacking uh, scenario, which is the splitting attack. So in this kind of the uh, attack, the attacker will firstly generate two conflicting transactions. In this case, for all the, uh, all the honest uh, incoming transactions, they cannot approve both of them in the same time, so because they are conflict. So the network, so the, the, uh, the tango will be separate into two parts, the, this part and this part. And in this case, the attacker will try to keep the community way balance between these two branches. That means, so, so that if uh, they are trying to, uh, if this one has the smaller uh, community weight, then the attacker will continue send the transaction to this part. So that will make any new coming transactions will have a half probabilities to go this way and a half probabilities to go that way. That will make all the transactions beyond this two branch will have a, a confidence level equal to like uh, 50%, which is not high enough which means all of these transactions cannot be confirmed by the system. So in this case, if we use a relatively high alpha, then even the difference between these, these two branches is small, then the, all the random worker will still like to uh, go to the one who has the higher uh, community way, which will make the job for the attacker to keep the balance between these two branches is very difficult. But however, when using a, a relatively high alpha, then we will have a lot of the left behind tips. So for example, these tips have been left behind because they have already been uh, published for a while. And they cannot receive any approve in the future. So it will be left behind forever. So, so here we propose a, a, a solutions, which is delta. The idea is very simple. We fix this problem. Uh, but without introduce new problems. The solution is easy, so, uh, so after choosing the two parents as my, uh, cho uh, instead, uh, so the first lay I will choose two parents, 
as uh, ch choose two tips as my parents as as uh, as the original uh, IOTA design. And after that, I'm looking into my uh, local Tango, and if we, we I found a tip a, a left behind <coughs> tips, then then I I will uh, uh, choose that one to prove. So in, by this way, I choose the third tips, and then for other new coming uh, transactions, we will also can also have a chance to approve this one, because the new coming transaction will prove this one, and this one will approve this one. So we give the left behind transaction new uh, probabilities to be uh, confirmed. So this is the uh, difference between IOTA and GLTA. We can see GLTA, there's no left behind tips. And here is the statistic uh, results. So we have uh, a lot of the unactive, which is uh, the tips has been left behind. And, uh, but is this third tips is necessary? So uh, we propose uh, continually is that we keep the two, keep choosing only two parents. But however, uh, for each time I will choose a parent, I will only, uh, I will choose randomly the tip selection algorithm from these three different tip selection algorithms, which is the random weight with high alpha, random weight with low alpha, and the uniform random weight, uh, uniform tip selection algorithm. So by using the, using the high alpha, I contribute to, to the resistance to the splitting uh, attack. By using the low alpha, then I will keep the, the, the major, uh, uh, the major uh, uh, honest uh, transaction will follow the demand uh, branch. And by using the random uh, uniform tip selection algorithm, I will give all the tips, no matter if it has been left behind or not, all the tips uh, equal probability to be choose as the, next, uh, as the parents. So which means we give all the tips uh, probabilities to be choose in the future. So which means there's no left behind tips. And here we show that the number of the tips uh, this uh, simulations in the real visa transactions uh, case. And uh, we have uh, tw uh, 2,000 tips for second, uh, for second and we up to uh, 8,000 transactions. And uh, here we can see the ELTA, the ELTA has a, a, a very, uh, ELTA and GLTA has a low uh, number of the tips who has been left behind in the, in the Tango. And also in the ELTA, the number of the random work is reduced. Why? Because uh, because the, the random work will cost a lot. So we like to not to uh, have a lot of the random work. So we use the, so this part will re reduce the number of the, uh, uh, number of the, 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 the random work. Thanks a lot. <laughs> questions? So we go to the next talk. So